We honor Talbot Community School teacher Cindy Sewell, Maine's 2021 Teacher of the Year, who last week received another high accolade, being named a winner of a presidential award for excellence in mathematics, science, and mathematics and science teaching, which carries a $10,000 award from the National Science Foundation. Ms. Sewell, who is a literacy coach at Talbot, is one of just two main teachers to be awarded a presidential award this year, both in the science category. They're among only about 100 educators from around the nation to be named as 2022 awardees. President Biden recognized the award recipients on February 8th. Cindy Sewell, as many of you know, is an amazing teacher who continues to make us proud. Her work to integrate science learning with other subjects helps bring relevance and engagement to her young students. As a teacher leader, she shares her expertise and engages her colleagues in side-by-side -side learning and growth. Her activism and commitment to anti-racist practice serves as an example to all of us of what we strive for as a district. She exemplifies the outstanding educators we're fortunate to attract and work to retain in the Portland Public Schools. In addition to the $10,000 award, each awardee will receive a certificate signed by President Biden and would also travel to Washington, D.C. for an award ceremony and professional development and advocacy in their fields at a future date. Please join me in congratulating Ms. Sewell on this well-deserved honor. And Cindy, I believe you're also in the audience. I am. Thank you, All Superintendent right. Patana and the school board for acknowledging this award. Um, I have a little story, too. So part of the process, once you're nominated, is a 45-minute video. And um, I did that video on Friday, March 13th, our last in-person day. And I wasn't prepared to teach, but I knew my son was at Bowdoin at the time. Bowdoin had closed and I knew there was a likelihood that we would not be back. I didn't anticipate for the entire spring, but I had set up with a student from PAPS. They had originally, they were going to come over at a later date. So this was just an unprepared lesson. And um, the reason I share that is not to, to reflect on me or that I did it in this hard time or this unknown time but because it represents the ways that teachers have reacted to and, and flexed and adapted to this pandemic. We are constantly being shown things that we weren't expecting and we've been constantly facing challenges that we have to overcome. And this, that moment always sticks in my mind as Friday, March 13th, I, I did this video and there was a student who didn't have their media permissions filming it on an iPad and, um, and here we are today, um, celebrating not really me because that work that I did and showed in that lesson, um, is reflective of the collaboration of all my colleagues that I've worked with, but particularly my third and fourth grade teams. And I, and I really, it's something that I see every day when I'm in schools, I see the collaboration, I see the practice of hope. I see the um, beautiful ways that um, we're wrapping our students with um, kindness and encouragement and our belief, um, our belief that we are going to navigate this and we are really um, moving into an opportunity. Um, and for me, science and the way that I and my colleagues are teaching science um, integrated with literacy is offers such hope for the future to disrupt that opportunity gap and narrow it and um, engage our learners, not only to learn about the natural world around them and sense make together, but to learn critical thinking skills that are going to be so um, important to our world's future. And um, I just, I want to also just take a minute to acknowledge um, our STEM coordinator, Brooke Teller, um, her belief in me, her leadership um, in this field has been so important because I have all this background in literacy, but I was not a science major in college. I love the natural world. I did take science classes, but her sharing her expertise and helping us guide and navigate our young learners to um, 
big sense and to, um, you know, she's just so inspiring. So, um, thank you, Brooke and, and, um, for your belief and your encouragement. And, um, I really am just excited to, um, be here. And I think this award is just an opportunity to see what's coming in the future, more science, more integrated science. So as you're making decisions, Mm -hmm. um, just know that this work has been the most powerful in my 20 plus years in Portland schools at um, inspiring students to um, dream a future for themselves and be equipped with the skills that they need, reading, writing, speaking, and listening. So thank you again and have a lovely evening. Congratulations, Cindy.